Texas A&M had gotten, it looks like $485 million, close to $500 million in grants and contracts from the Qatar Foundation. Judicial Watch had a big find uh, come out this week about Qatar. Uh, you may have followed our litigation, hard fought, over years uh, on behalf of uh, the uh, SACOR uh, 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 Legal Institute, which is a U.S.-based advocacy group dedicated to combating the spread of anti-Semitism and, frankly, terrorism. Uh, they had been trying to get records about Qatar, which is a foreign, um, uh, the terrorist link regime from the Middle East, their funding of Texas A&M University. And what had happened was, and I'm kind of summarizing this broadly, uh, that uh, their request to Texas A&M was rejected or was, was uh, uh, interfered with, practically speaking, because the Qatar Foundation, which is the front for the government, didn't want the documents coming out. So they were suing in state court, and it went up and down the courts in Texas uh, and with Judicial Watch successfully, ultimately representing the Zakor Lit uh, Legal Institute. And now we know what they were hiding. Uh, Judicial Watch uncovered the records uh, that were released to us as a result of the court order, specifically released to the Zakor Lit uh, Legal Institute, uh, that Texas A&M had gotten, it looks like, $485 million, close to $500 million, in grants and contracts from the Qatar Foundation. And there also appear to be discrepancies between what is listed in the gift reporting uh, received from Texas A&M and what was reported by the school to the federal foreign gift reporting system. For instance, Texas A&M's gift record for January 1st, 2013 through May 22nd, 2018 uh, only lists a total of $69 million from the Qatar Foundation, uh, whereas the Department of Education's database shows a total of over $47 million for the same period. And we're now talking, you know, under reporting of nearly $400 million or over $400 million. And no matter how you slice it, it looks like. As I said, the new information was released um, thanks to a court victory last month in litigation on behalf of the, the Secor Legal Institute uh, under the Texas Public Information Act. Just so you know, we have the federal FOIA, the Freedom of Information Act, but then all the states have their variations of FOIA, the Freedom of Information Act. Either they call it the Public Records Act, Public Information Ra Act, Right to Know Law, you name it. But it's all transparency. And sometimes these state laws can get you documents even more quickly, well, it's pretty easy to do, to get you documents more quickly than the federal law. Uh, but uh, it's a powerful tool, and I encourage you all to use it where possible. Uh, and uh, they've been asking for these records about the Qatar funding of uh, the Texas A&M University. And plus, they've got a big campus at, uh, uh, in Qatar as well. The previously hidden records include a document entitled Qatar Grants and Contracts for January 1st, 2013 through May 22nd, 2018, which is the time frame that I was talking about with their federal reporting. Uh, it shows Qatar Computing Research Institute gave $121 million. The documents show um, that the Qatar National Research Fund, for instance, gave them $32 million. The Qatar Foundation gave them $485 million. So, you know, that's well north of $500 billion, if my math is um, accurate here. And I don't trust my math, but it seems readily apparent to me. Qatar University gave them a, almost a quarter of a million dollars. Uh, they've got a second record, uh, also detailing records or, or gifts of uh, totaling another three million dollars from various entities related to Qatar. So that's a lot of money. And uh, it's an extraordinary amount of money. Don't you agree? And as I said in our comment, uh, now we know why terrorist link Qatar has fought us in court to hide its financial support for Texas A&M. Because it's, it's a half a billion dollars. I mean, it wasn't like a grant for a million bucks. Now, you know, th I'm sure some of you follow grant-making to universities. You notice when they happen, big 
grants get made to certain universities. I mean, $500 million, I, I didn't look and compare it to other, you know, is it a record gift? I doubt it, but certainly it's up there. Qatar has aligned itself with Islamic terrorists and extremists, which has placed it at odds with the United States, Israel, and other U.S. allies in the Middle East. So we've got a public interest in figuring out what's going on here. And our, our friends at the Saqqara Legal Institute began asking for these records five years ago, in 2018. And it's really, it's terrible that they've had to wait so long. And, um, you know, Texas A&M, in my view, probably could have released the information more directly since then, but they were uh, suggesting they couldn't do it because of the lawsuit that Qatar filed to prevent disclosure of the funding information. Uh, we countered in the courts that neither the Qatari government nor any of its agencies are protected by exceptions under Texas law, and that federal law expressly makes the requested information public, meaning the foreign funding. And in March of 2023, just last month, uh, Judge Amy Clark Meekham ruled in favor of Judicial Watch and the Zakhar Legal Institute in order that the documents be made public. So this was a five-year um, uh, uh, litigation that went up and down. I think it went to the Texas Supreme Court or the equivalent. And so uh, now we know something very significant, that this foreign government tied to terrorism has an outsized influence, it looks like, based on $500 million granted to Texas A&M University. And uh, the next question is, well, what, what are they getting in return for that, if anything? You know, usually donors want, uh, you know, a legacy, right? In the least, something named. Or scholarships, was certain programs demanded? I don't know. Certain access to certain programs? I don't know. But I think this is next up in terms of the investigation. And these are, this is what our client said. Thanks to the determined and skillful work of Judicial Watch, the country now sees the extent to which foreign governments are interfering in American institutions, said Mark Greendorfer, who is president of the Zakhar Legal Institute. Texas A&M's apparent sporadic and shifting compliance with federal reporting requirements concerning gifts and grants from Qatar raised many questions as to why the university seemingly failed to comply with reporting requirements and whether additional information is not being reported. Sakar will continue to pursue answers to these questions until every dollar is accounted for. So our, our lawyer on this case was Michael Bakesha. We were assisted. Uh, Michael is a senior attorney here at Judicial Watch. Uh, he was assisted uh, by um, our Texas counsel, uh, Jennifer S. Riggs of Riggs and Ray in Austin, Texas. So thank you, Jennifer, for helping us. And we had some other attorneys there helping us in Texas as we were appealing it, appealing some of these rulings initially. So this is a big deal. Actually, we weren't appealing the rulings. I think the Qataris were appealing the rulings. And they had more money than you, Midas, in terms of being able to uh, fight us. But the rule of law won. So this David Goli versus Goliath uh, exercise resulted in David again winning uh, against the Qatari government. And so, um, you know, this is, this is not a minor issue uh, because it's not the Qataris, it's not Qatar that is just funding U.S. universities. We've got the Chinese very much interested in having a footprint here, the Saudis, other foreign governments, and we need more disclosure about that. We don't want to lose our country to these uh, foreign governments who are exercising influence uh, through dramatic gifts to academic institutions. And, uh, you know, we have a right to sovereignty, don't we? And one way to protect our sovereignty is to ensure that we know what foreign governments are doing with the institutions, certainly, that train our children. And, you know, the academic institutions at issue often have very sensitive access to national security and other secrets that we don't want foreign nationals or foreign governments having access to. So there's a national security component to this as well. So Judicial Watch um, is going to continue to pursue this issue with Texas A&M, I suspect, plus there are other issues with the Department of Education and uh, the numbers they've been tracking that we're going to be pursuing as well. So. And plus, if you are aware of this type of activity at a university you support and you're concerned about it, send us the detail. Maybe we can look into it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.